covered a bunch of stories on this segment about Christians punishing teenage girls over the way that they dress, but never one quite like this. This one is about a 15-year-old named Kayla Kinney, a freshman at a private Christian school in Louisville called Whitfield Academy, or formerly a freshman there, I guess, because she put the school in the delicate position of having to choose between her education and endorsing the wearing of rainbows in public. Yeah, there are so many ways this story is fucked. Apparently, Kayla's mom posted a picture on Facebook of her wearing a rainbow sweater and eating a rainbow cake. And based on that photo, the one of her not even in the goddamn school, her mom gets an email from the school's leader telling her that Kayla is being expelled for, quote, morality and cultural acceptance, contrary to that of Whitfield's Academy's beliefs, end quote. Now, to be clear, the sweater doesn't have a message. The cake doesn't have two figurines engaged in a gay sex act on top of it. They're just fucking rainbows. But the school said that that was too damn much for them, apparently. No word yet on whether they've shredded all their Bibles over that controversial pro-gay right stand God takes at the end of the flood. The only solace we can take against this idiocy is the fact that at least idiocy is mostly only appealing to idiots. Which is why I wind up with so many stories like this one out of Nebraska. Apparently, their governor, Pete, I'm named after a vitamin D deficiency, Ricketts, issued a proclamation urging everyone in the state to pray for an end to abortion on January 22nd, the 47th anniversary of Roe versus Wade. And look, I get that I should be pissed about this, and I am. Issuing calls to prayer using taxpayer-funded platforms has a great track record of doing that. But there's also a part of me that's kind of relieved when I hear that this is their strategy. I mean, I get that smarter Christians are doing crooked shit to pack the Supreme Court with their guys, but everybody relying on prayer to get it done is one more person I don't have to worry about in the long run. Oh, and before I wrap things up, I want to offer my condolences to Iran for losing their token female athlete last week. I was happy to hear that Olympic Taekwondo bronze medalist Kamiya Alazada managed to get the fuck out and make her way to the Netherlands. She's the only Iranian woman to have ever won an Olympic medal, and the second she managed to scrounge up an ounce of freedom, she started using it to denounce the oppressive regime that she's just escaped. And while the news stories don't say anything about her having to karate her way through a hallway full of Iranian soldiers to make her escape, eh, I'm going to imagine it that way until somebody definitively tells me otherwise. And on that mental image, I'm going to hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. Eli. 